Welcome to another lesson as part of your free six-day mini course. Today, what we're going to cover is how to choose the right domain name and web host for your website. But before we begin, I just wanted to reiterate some of the philosophies behind what I'm teaching you today. And one of the common questions I get asked is, hey Steve, why not just open an eBay, an Etsy, or an Amazon store? Well, guess what? Would you ever place your future and your destiny in the hands of someone else who doesn't have your interests in mind? Probably not, right? Well, guess what? eBay, Etsy, and Amazon, their primary concern is catering to their stockholders. They can change the rules at any time, they can raise prices, they can make your products less visible, and you could get banned. And keep in mind that in just the past several years, this has happened over and over and over and over again, and it's getting harder and harder to sell on these platforms. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't sell on these platforms, but you should be building your own branded site in addition to selling on these marketplaces. Never put all of your baskets in a single place for all of your sales. And with that in mind, I wanna give you some tips on registering your domain. So first of all, if you don't know what a domain is, the domain is the address which is typed into your browser to find your website. And so what domain suffix should you use? This is a common question I get asked, should I get a .com, should I get a .org, or should I get a .net? Hey Steve, the address that I did wanna get is not available in a .com, should I bother registering the .net? Well, when it comes to registering a domain name, ultimately the domain name doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because most people don't type in the domain in the web browser. But in the event that people do want to type in your address into the web browser, it always pays to get the .com. It's everyone's first instinct to type in the website name .com over .net, .org, or any other suffix. Okay, and in terms of selecting the domain name, make sure you do the research first before you register anything, and especially your competition, because generally you don't wanna pick a domain that very closely resembles your competitor. So for example, I run bumblebeelinens.com, but if another company already had bumblebeelinen.com, singular, I definitely would not want to register that domain. Similarly, if someone owned napkin.com, I would not want to register napkins.com. Okay, and you absolutely want to check the USPTO to make sure that your domain is not trademarked. I once had a friend who used a trademark name as part of their domain, and then five years down the line, that company came back and sued that company saying that there was trademark infringement, and my buddy was forced to change the name of his company as a result. So make sure you check the trademark database. Also, in terms of ease of remembering and typeability, Never use hyphens or punctuation in your domain because it makes it so much harder to remember how to type into the web browser. You also want to avoid long domain names for that same reason. So domain names with two or three syllables work the best. Don't choose anything that's hard to spell because people are going to type it in wrong. And finally, use the keywords that you're targeting for your store in your domain if you can, but don't go overboard with it. Make it sound natural. Okay, and so once you've decided on a domain name, the next step is to find a web host. Now a web host is the computer that your website runs on, and it's typically a server that is managed by a third party company. And when you first start out with your online store, you definitely don't need anything powerful. What you wanna do is you wanna choose a provider that is very simple and has a seamless upgrade path to more power as you need it. Now when it comes to selecting the right web host, it's actually really difficult. And unfortunately, all the reviews that you see on all the websites out there are completely fake. They're purposely trying to rank for that keyword and then they make money off of making sales of that web host. And in fact, the only true way to know whether a web host is good or not is to actually use them. Now, when it comes to web hosting, don't go cheap because oftentimes you'll see these super low prices and you'll even see free web hosts out there, but they are crap because they have poor reliability, slow performance, or they skimp majorly on support. So right now, I've been working with the students in my class since 2011, and I recommend SiteGround very highly. Now, SiteGround is extremely cheap at $3.95 per month, and that hosting is probably good until you hit about 10,000 visitors per month. And I've been helping students run their websites on SiteGround for the last several years, and it's been rock solid. Now, it costs a little bit more at $3.95, which is not that much money at all, but their reliability and their support is top-notch, they do not put too many accounts on a single machine, so your site will never slow down, and you can actually contact them by voice or chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so that's why I recommend SiteGround. Now, because I've been doing this for a very long time, I've actually negotiated discounts for a lot of the major suppliers. So if you wanna access some of these discounts, go to mywifequitterjob.com, scroll all the way down, 
And if you want to sign up for SiteGround, I've negotiated a discount for my Web Quitter job readers. It is $3.95 a month. All you got to do is click here. And I want to jump ahead a little bit because I do want to talk a little bit about the e-commerce platforms, which I'm going to be talking about in the next lesson. Now, in general, you need a web host if you want to install your own open source shopping cart that you control and manage. But if you're not tech savvy at all, then there's two other platforms that I recommend to host your shopping cart. One of them is called Shopify, and this is probably the most popular fully hosted shopping cart out there. They'll basically do everything for you. You don't have to lift a finger. The shopping cart is going to be automatically installed and you are ready to sell right from the start. The downside, of course, is that it costs a little bit more, but I've negotiated a discount of 10% off the first year with Shopify. And if you click on this link, you will get access to that discount. Now, the other fully hosted shopping cart that I recommend is called Big Commerce. Big Commerce is just like Shopify in that they do all the work for you. Once you sign up, they take care of everything, all the installation, and you are ready to sell right away. All right, but I don't want to jump too ahead of myself because in the next lesson, I'm going to talk about all the e-commerce platforms that you have at your disposal, including Shopify, BigCommerce, and I'm going to do a full-blown step-by-step tutorial on how to install your own open source shopping cart on SiteGround, which is actually the cheapest way to go. It actually will only cost you $3.95 a month to launch a fully featured online store. Okay, and so that's all I had for today's lesson. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show you all the different shopping cart platforms that are available and help you choose the platform that best matches your personality and your situation. And I'll show you a step-by-step -step video on how to install and launch your website. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Just keep in mind that the content that I presented to you today is just a high-level introduction and a very small taste of one of the many modules in my full-blown course on how to start a profitable online store. My full-blown course can be found at ProfitableOnlineStore.com. And if you want to learn how to run an online business in much greater depth, feel free to check it out. I go over how to find and research a profitable niche to sell into. I teach you how to set up a fully featured online store without requiring any technical knowledge and without spending a lot of money. I'll show you how to source your products online pay the lowest price possible for your goods and make a profit. I'll show you how to validate your products on platforms like Amazon and eBay to make sure that they're gonna sell before you start your own online store. And then finally, when you do launch your online store, I'll teach you how to drive large amounts of targeted traffic to your website without spending a lot of money. And then finally, I'll teach you how to design a high converting online store website without hiring a programmer. All of these topics are well covered in my online store course, which can be located at ProfitableOnlineStore.com.